February the 26th, 2021 it is, and I do like to touch health-wise the most um, sensitive topic to me. It's It's been the most sensitive topic since 2017, and since my return from Belarus, uh, this became the main thing for me, because this is what what this thing was all about. Um, now, during MK Ultra, I did experience this kind of stuff way earlier, uh, just as I've explained about the Belgrade. Um, they were playing with this thing. Under MK Ultra, they would, I would, I would test this sound I can hear right now but it was already completely unbearable it was so unbearable that you, you could sleep but you couldn't sleep really the reasons for this kind of stuff are many but I think the main reason is this one here I think this is like the reason this is the level of radiation you see 48 something uh, you can see that you can know the time this was done yesterday at one something o'clock and then I did over the day place this on a tripod on a stand away from the table away from anything that would come too close to proximity um, not anywhere near a computer or anything like this just wanted to make sure that you see this kind of stuff this is a regular 50 here is a regular um, the thing is it's like this night and day day and night it doesn't matter where you place this inside of the room really it matters not um, well when it dropped down to like 15 16 something like this the radiation level um, which happens like one percent of the time 1% of the time, 99% of the time is basically what you see here. I almost deemed that that was some form of radiation. I deemed that that stuff was not normal. Uh, so you no longer know what is normal and what not. This is not composition of different recordings or anything like this. Again, a different time. Uh, this was recorded yesterday in one recording. I'll probably do another one today. Um, but occasionally, when you go to sleep, when you're not paying attention, or if I publish news, the level goes up to 100, all the way to the maximum, just like you have seen. So this is just this is just a normal uh, it's just normal level but I think it's close to the limit right there and probably this isn't the best thing I don't know how bad this is if you go if it goes like this night and day I've noticed that this thing this this meter on a telephone does not record everything he does not record everything in other words when you have an EMF meter the other meter has a different frequency. He acknowledges radiation uh, differently from this telephone. So, what kind of radiations we are talking about? That's also a good question. And this one will acknowledge what the other one will not, because that meter also was modified, I believe. So you have a. Um, variety of issues like this this stuff here just as I have stated just so that you're gonna see that something like this is also possible I don't know whether this is would be a radiation tool or would be something else but this happens like during 1% of the time 1% of the time sometimes and I acknowledge this, what you're seeing here, because it would go to the hundred and more, it would boost the radiation, and then 
it would change into, you know, you would hear, you can feel in your body. And then what it would do, it would turn into opposite, like what you see right there. But now it's again increasing up and this and that. So, I'm not going to even say 1% of the time. But it happens, this kind of stuff here too. The first thing I want to concentrate it's not that I managed to get rid of this lymph node, gland node, cancer issues. I, would I am referring to exactly what you see right here. I am uh, referring to exactly, exactly the spot that you see right there. I'm I did experience this issue. I am okay now, as okay as I ever was in respect to this issue, almost, probably. Um, it would be right in the left arm. You see, uh, with this auxiliary nodes, uh, but I think it's also related to what you see is located close to the neck. It's the first time I actually even see this picture and I get a better idea about stuff I'll be talking to you in continuation. These are cancer related issues. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a specialist, but according to opinion of few people who have, I understand, witnessed a whole palette of individuals, not only to myself, but also other people who have undergone, mm, I don't think anybody really did, uh, but who have undergone this kind of ordeal, uh, which uh, physicians, doctors, physicians have done it somehow along the psychiatrist, whatever, whatever this is, this shit, uh, I wouldn't be able to overcome this issue. I, I would not be capable to solve this issue. Now, I did not, I'm not saying that I did get rid of it. I hear this for the last four years, but at this point in time, at least it's bearable. Because from what I was brainwashed, under MK Ultra. Sometimes already like in 98, 99, 2000. Uh, and it's how it all started upon return from Belarus. I don't know, in 2018. It would be a sound that you would hear uh, a consequence of acoustic attack on you. That's how the bullshit started first but you know how it all went I am gonna explain in a, in a second part in part two in this very video uh, but right now what I want to do is is because this 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 foremost this is about a total confusion uh, like world so clustered with lies that under those circumstances you possibly know what goes on it wasn't the problem, the problem so much, but what you're about to hear what was done to cluster my mind for me not to see through MKUltra, literally, um, that's, that's something completely different. That's why I'm saying I managed to probably most likely postpone this, whatever is going to come out of this, delay but the solution I don't think I produced one okay the police officer told me when I see you you know when I see you and he told me this in this house this is interesting he told me when I see you holding yourself like this for the arm um, that's when I already know you are effed it's gonna be a surgery it's finished. Um, it was nothing like this in 2017. Nothing like this until I returned back home here to Slovenia. Uh, now in 2021, in 2020, end of 2020. Uh, and then, boy, it just gradually would go into a Sergey from Belarus stated me sometimes in 2005 when he was here uh, 
unbearable pain that he experienced. That the pain was um, so bad that he no longer possibly could postpone. And I do believe him. I don't believe about other individuals because I have not experienced, uh, seen other people going through this kind of stuff. It was not enough involvement. It was talk about other test subjects. Uh, but it was not. It was nothing like about. I'm going to say. Um, what I did experience next to uh, Sergey from Belarus. You know, that he would, I would basically, he would be at least next to me, you know, when I was under, under MK Ultra, you know, and he was explaining to me that this thing is, is hurting him too effing bad, this is, this is too bad, this stuff, that he can't handle anymore, this stuff, and eventually he's going to have to go to the surgery. He, one time it was like, he was talking all the time about pain, pain, pain in the arm, and just like myself, left arm. And then at one point that no, that he he can't do it. He said, "Fuck it, you know what? I can't do it anymore." And then I understand he it was a surgery, whatever. And according to Bord Pahar, is this a fact? I don't know. I have not seen him on a surgical table. I have not seen him. Um, I've seen him inside of the hospital when I was subjected to MK Ultra. They had me inside of the hospital. I've seen that kind of stuff. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff like this that was alarming. They alarmed that with idea that they barely saved him. Um, but I don't know whether he did undergo this surgery or not, because I wasn't there. I and you know, under MK Ultra, it's better to be really skeptical about everything. He might have done. As I'm about to explain, just like Dr. Balaban, I don't know. It's the world that... If you don't do something, you're told... It's somebody from your family that may actually suffer. It's not even about you alone. It might be somebody else in your family that suffers if you don't do it. If you don't comply with whatever you are ordered by the politicians like this, it might be somebody completely to you related, more dear than yourself, to yourself, that might suffer consequences. Um, Sergey from Belarus, this is, for me, a very very unique in individual I'm gonna touch this subject I will explain all about it but right now uh, I want to explain to you how I managed to maybe even avoid what Sergey could not and what I uh, what I understood as I was told that they insisted me uh, that it was only few of them that avoided then it was that one avoided and even that one after like I don't know six months that he had to go on surgery to it was total total uh, brainwash on comply basically go to this on a surgical table no matter what okay once I learned about issues such as okay once I pushed aside once I tested everything absolutely everything I was brainwashed under MK Ultra. It's a whole list I'm gonna go to and I read a little bit myself because the point is here this is not the point that you would be stupid this is it's not the point that you would be ignorant it's not the point that you would be um, the point here is not even it's not even the point that you are you know as oftentimes people subjected to MK Ultra, they act like they know everything. I was like this. I was in a situation like this. It's not even, even that's not the point. The point is that this shit is so toxic. They involve so much, like mind toxic. They involve so much shit that, believe me, you know, out of anger, out of, out of bitterness, if somebody tells you that before you sip the water inside in here there was something on the bottom 
that's poisonous or whatever, you're going to go ahead and still sip the water knowing this stuff and you're going to drink. This is how poisonous it is. That's what it is. It's, it's like you, you act disregarding this stuff uh, out of spite. That disregarding in this case would be to actually go over and read about this stuff. Because your head is so packed with the most insane information, with the people that have relayed this bullshit to you, this is not knowledge, this is bullshit, in the most violent way you possibly can imagine. And, and like I said, in a bit, I'm going to touch that subject. But I just want to go and explain to you how I managed to, for now, delay this stuff. I don't think I, I am ever going to, um, I don't even know what's going to come out of this. Okay, but how I did it um, with a cardboard box, it might be funny to you. Um, look, once I read about limp uh, liquid, you know, lymphatic liquid, how it travels through the body in this and that. Once I started to relate an issue when in Poland, when I was in Poland, and yeah, from this acoustic sound attack, they started to instigate on brain cancer uh, through all kinds of stuff, through the fluid, through the liquid that you drink, that the water you're supposed to cook one, and all kinds of paranoia. A real, a real paranoia. They, they completely paranoid with stuff that is you don't know about, but you brainwashed under this, and you don't know about in inside of the hospital in Poland, where I went for a scan of my head to see if there is a tumor. There was no tumor. They didn't find anything. But the guy who was involved in Ankyotra told me, and it's actually audio recorded. He pointed me to gland nodes, but he didn't point me that on the body gland nodes. And what I am not, I, I had no idea, I mean, this is psychologically was so evaluated that it would not, you hear in your head like, how the hell could this possibly have to do with gland nodes? Now you talk to so many physicians and inside of this immigration center and inside of the hospital and no physician knows about this s sound that you're experiencing um, and they involve the stuff such as diabetes they involve the stuff such as high blood pressure you know this kind of issues related to your weight because they were certain that due to amount of weight I had at least I'm gonna produce diabetes this was like they were hundred percent certain they would not tell you anything about what went on, what goes on, and so on. And so you are left in worse than a dark. You are left completely without information, with completely insane information relayed to you by uh, criminals. That's how I can explain this in, in, in the shortest sentence. <laughs> uh, cardboard box. This here is a cardboard box. This is a good stuff, you know why? Because this here, a lymph node, which is inside in here. They have done something. It might not even be they have done to the lymph node. I, the official version from Belgrade has it that they, they stated me they they injected me with something inside of the lymph node, like cancer related something, and that is the thing that's gonna ensure that I will have no chance other than to either uh, go on a surgery operation or you are just, but listen, this is totally separate subject. We're gonna get to that, okay. Um, lymph node liquid. I realized it does have something to do with the lymph node liquid because when I would be sleeping 
and one of the guys stated to me, and it was not Sergey, he said, yeah, turn yourself like this now, you know, do you hear this? And I couldn't realize how these guys would, how under MK Ultra would have this, where the hell is this coming from? Why? This was the most stuff that bothered me because I recognized this stuff from the past, but I could not under any circumstances, you know, point out, know where exactly this thing is coming from. What, what is this thing, you know? They brainwash on a on a brain cancer on so many issues, and I I figure out it's how how could this possibly have to do anything with with the lip known and stuff like that cancer this and that. Um, lymphid liquid travels. I learned by reading uh, all over the body, and especially goes through here and so on, where you have these lymph nodes. And if something obstructs this lymph node liquid, uh, it is lymph node that this liquid doesn't come to uh, becomes inflated. And that's exactly what the case was with this thing here, which they have done something, like I said, might not even necessarily be the, be the lymph node. They could have done something to vein something. They, they could have done something here where you put a backpack. You know, when you put the backpack, the straps go right through here. And the backpack will go and it will squeeze obviously something it could be under here you know it could be it could be it could be under the arm I have no idea where exactly this uh, it could be it could be that it could be here something it could be it could be here something it, you know something something that creates that obstructs flow of that liquid and the area that is obviously the most susceptible that is the most sensitive to this issue in my body obviously was this thing here now for this thing i already have explained how the background how they got an idea about that kind of stuff but the way i did resolve this stuff when i was lying down and I did, you know, this is why this was so difficult, because of the herniated disc. Once you have herniated disc, for you to logically come to this conclusion now becomes almost impossible, because if you lay on the, on the, on the side with a herniated disc, you know, the physicians can tell you what exactly happens. You are completely screwed, is basically what happens. But this was, like I said, a setup by the physicians, by the real doctors, by the orthopeds even, and psychiatrists. It was not a, it was not the isolated. This was only go and touch the area of psychiatrists or something like this. This was literally poisoning, with a brainwash. And with a physical crippling, that touched this issue for which some politicians gestured me that I will never find a way out. Angela Merkel was one. That means that she knew about this stuff, about what they're going to do. She told me, just go to the surgery because you're not going to make it through. Yeah, well, <coughs> we're going to get to that. Once I learned, once I reminded myself of how I lay down, uh, because at least somewhat I managed to breach that herniated disc issue with the exercise, but foremost, more than with, them with the exercise, by leaving the laptop, no longer carrying the laptop with me, I said, F that laptop, if they break the laptop, they break the laptop, but if I'm going to be crippled, you know, with a spine, then it's finished. You know, that's a laptop, whatever it might be, but the situation was already so bad that a kilo and a half made a, such a difference in my spine that I would leave the laptop at home. I would no longer carry one. 
it got too serious, it got too bad for me. And when I reminded myself of this, that I lied with them, and they told me, do you hear on this side, do you hear on this side the sound? And I was like, yeah. Okay, turn yourself like this. Why? So that you're not going to hear on this side only, and so that you can ease this sound, so it's going to be easier on you. Okay, so I turned this way, and yeah, really. And it felt like, you know, and then on the other side, and it felt like as if liquid, you know, would follow from this side uh, on the other side, you know, literally. Um, and I was like, when reading about this liquid, I was like, hmm, backpack, I was like, hmm. It came to me that this got to do with the backpack, especially because when I would carry the backpack, uh, the pain would become worse, you know. It, like I said, it would become to the, such a degree that it would the pain was becoming unbearable. So I think I was like this close to the surgery. I think it was it was like this. I think I had a meeting with the surgery, either with the surgery or as I decided. I would not even go to the surgery because this was this was just from the psychological view point of view. The suffering was already so big that I decided I made it in my mind I'm not gonna go to the surgery. If I get a cancer, all the stuff they told me, I don't care. About how it's gonna be too late. Uh, I feel that it's better that it's too late because this is going nowhere. So once I learned about this fluid, I did took major steps. Um, as I would sleep on my side, therefore on the right arm, as I managed to accomplish that with the exercise and by not carrying the backpack with me, spine allowed me to do so, I would place literally my hand to rest one like this during the sleep. And because the pain, the pain in my hand, in this whole hand, uh, in the arm was becoming so overwhelming that I could not I could not handle it anymore um, I remember that Sergey had a problem he would use he was actually asking me if he can use a sleeping bag he was such a polite man can I use the uh, sleeping bag I have pain this and that yeah I told him to take whatever the hell um, and, and just do do help yourself. He's just such a sweet man, this guy. And I remind myself of this, so I believe really that he did have, you know, or he was just, uh, you know, extraordinary faker, but no, I don't think he was. I think he, he uh, it was a real deal that the man go through, went through. Well, when I reminded myself, I was thinking about, man, I said, this is not going to be enough, because I started to recall him, and I said, he did not, he didn't, eventually he ended up with, you know, a surgery. He said, they told me, you're going to cut the sugar, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, you're going to stop eating this, you're going to, I don't know what you're going to do. But in the end, you're going to go to the surgery. You really, you really have no fucking clue about what goes on. You really have no fucking clue about what goes on. Um, the next really, really handy thing was this telephone. Uh, you know, this, this telephone that has ability to detect radiation. It's like super fucking beautiful because I managed it to realize that I'm so fucking radiated here like a mouse. And that does, I'm sure, have impact on blood cells and so on and adds extra dangerous to lymph nodes, gland nodes. So now I already have some information I could work with and I realized that along this um, strap uh, that pressures you down here uh, it would be best for me just as I have seen and I was making fun out of um, Sergey. But at that time when I did this, I did not even thought about it. It was just, it came to me naturally that, that I experienced and I said to myself, boom, I placed something like this and then strap across and it relieved. In other words, it gave, 
uh, this fluid ability to flow f more freely, you know, less obstructed. And that kind of stuff was the one that put me back in a complete control. Um, yeah, I continue to exercise, I go do push-ups, I go do anything, you know, nothing like um, a neighbor and the American insisted that the, because of the stuff and you're going to go swimming in the winter called the river and that's going to be the end of it with you. No, that was not it. It was completely other issues. I want to do a little touchdown in respect to this thing. It's the most important one I forgot. The most important one was as I was instructed to do. And I was instructed to do by all the people who loved me, including this psychologist from Poland, because she knew little about it. <laughs> if you were, uh, it didn't matter really. Uh, how motivated in helping me out you were up to a, such a knockout through this MK Ultra that like you wouldn't believe like you had no impact whatsoever on anything really really the injury the spine injury she insisted you're gonna hold yourself and many others but I'm using her just to demonstrate it, explain you how twisted this stuff is. You're gonna hold yourself somewhere for some bar or even roof or whatever it is, a tree, branch, like this, and you're gonna relax the lower body completely so you're gonna stretch the spine, so you're gonna keep the spine straight. Because they came up also with the idea that my spine is bent and they caused this under MK Ultra. It was more than just a herniated disc, that injury that I suffered when working in that company. It was more than that. Um, American who participated in MK Ultra greatly, greatly dramatized. They, he greatly dramatized. He, he went on to tell me how I'm never going to be able to do exercise, how I'm just going to go like, you know, because of spine twisted like this, that is just, in this herniated disc, that this is just going to grow, grow, grow this herniated disc until it's going to, you're just going to fall apart and stuff like this. So naturally what you want to do is, one of the main thing you want to do, you want to stretch your spine by holding yourself for a few seconds on something so the spine is relaxed. This was a Borat Pahar idea. He <laughs> Borat Pahar brainwashed like insane on this issue, on this issue, how you have to stretch, stretch, stretch your spine. Well, let me explain to you something. When you have injury here on a gland node, and I did, when I hang myself into the paw, I could feel that almost it would be like something like almost you could it would it would, it would like resolve like 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 this you could you could feel like like this wow I said to myself that's probably not a good stuff then I reminded myself of American also who started to insist at one point in time now later on that it's what later is doesn't come to you to mind what comes to you to mind is what your first brainwash it's the stuff I was brainwashed for years watching those guys how they were stretching themselves uh, because of the spine injury they endured when working for this company in Poland he stated me this is the shit you're only gonna do two three times and then you're gonna go on a surgical table when you want to do this kind of stuff you're finished but this came to me after I already realized what goes on. Wow, so now, after the combination of this thing here, during walk, this helped tremendously a lot. Uh, that stuff, no more. That one I finished. 
and cardboard box. I think I rehabilita rehabilitated myself close to perfection, uh, to the state in which I was during my stay in Poland. It probably it was not for this radiation, it goes on, um, I probably would be okay now. So that's the stuff that still somehow uh, keeps that Vucic, Alexander Vucic, Vladimir Putin plan to roll on. Other than that, I resolved the issues. I have no more pain in my arm, which is really, from my point of view, this is like incredible. A Belarus guy, he would put something under, you know, underneath, like this. Maybe, probably, just to alert me. And when I would ask him, what the hell are you doing, man? What, what is the hell is this thing here for? Uh, what, what, what are you doing? You know, I, I didn't like the stuff they did under MK Ultra because it was always some kind of eccentric stuff, stupid shit that went on. You know, all of a sudden I see him with, with this thing up here, and then he tells me that this is what it is, and I was again laughing at whatever I was doing. Made no, Sergey, it didn't make no three shit to me sense what this MK Ultra I didn't care about. I consider this like a bullshit, like somebody is laughing at me, playing with me. Uh, eventually, turn out something that you I never would consider it, it would. Then he had this up there and this and that, but. If you don't do it yourself, stuff like this, you're never going to remind my, uh, remind yourself. Now, I did figure out uh, and did avoid it. Not that I feel myself even a little bit special, uh, as I stated. I think they bluffed. I think they lied. But lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are connected with a sleep quality because of the sound. You can't sleep. And so, because of the pain, you can't sleep. You become zombie. Zombie has a difficulty to get up. My energy level was probably down, and probably also due to some other reasons. God knows what, how this affects uh, blood, and God knows. Probably for a half of what I was. I was, the energy was completely, I was dried out I would say almost totally dried out I was in a really really bad shape and just listening to my neighbors talking about and my mom talking about and my neighbors that one right there this one here my mom uh, people involved in this case MK Ultra case from Ljubljana that came to fix this um, trans transformator for the electricity because this, they claimed it was a low current electric current on the MK Ultra they bullshit me that I'm gonna have to write a letter to uh, electro company complaint letter about low level electricity and so on electric current um, and at the same time they bullshit you so that you're not gonna forget to go on a surgery and stuff like that. Wow. Uh, let me tell you, this kind of issues, when they involve this kind of issues, it's extremely disturbing. It's disturbing uh, because it mounts on, on productivity. It mounts on top of you in many other ways. You're not allowed to drink coffee naturally. Yeah, it's quite interesting. It's quite a different world that all of a sudden opens up. Now, after I explain how I managed to overcome that issue, I'm gonna touch uh, what exactly the stuff I was told, uh, how they try, what what basically what they have done to me, and then you go and you figure out because they haven't done this to anybody else. Uh, I believe. And I'm pretty certain about that this was also a test, that I was a test subject, experiment guinea pig for the psychiatrists, uh, for a part of the people that doesn't have much better than bullshit to produce, crime basically. 
that I would go, the one that they have used, and I don't think she was the one, or uh, if she is, if she was the one, because most of the stuff was recorded, but I don't think that she's the one. They told me they had a doppelganger, and it's against psychologist, Justina from Poland. He insisted me that I would have to drink half of the body weight of fluid per day. And they would have these Americans that they understand. One of them, it was just one of them that was so dedicated. At least that's what they tried to portray and insist that they had few people. And for him, they claimed that he was the most outstanding man, always that he would walk from here all the way to Chantierne. Uh, that's like, I don't know, four hours away from here and then four hours back every fucking day. And that he would drink like half of the uh, body weight uh, in water to, to rinse the lymphic system and stuff like this. Uh, it was funny when somebody, and I don't think she was the one, I don't think this is, this is, this is like over criminal stuff that you would tell this to somebody that we're gonna see like if you're gonna be able to do this kind of stuff and literally bully me on the issue we're gonna see if you're gonna drink this water per day or not we're gonna see if you're gonna walk um, well, that issue expanded further into my niece and that was a real niece and her husband, we're going to see if you're going to eat a chocolate. We're going to see if you're going to eat something sweet. We're going to see if you're going to drink a coffee. We're going to see if you're going to drink, uh, if you're going to eat uh, chips, potato, and stuff like that. This was like you would have a pack of complete lunatics surrounding you and pushing their crazy shit in your head. A local psychiatrist, Dr. Kapsch, who was my psychiatrist in, well, I know him, one of the first people involved in MKUltra, along psychiatrist Sveto Gradisha, was he. He's here from Novo Mesto. And so him and what became his wife, I can give you the whole history about the two about the upgrades they did to first her residence and then the new house they built and stuff like that. I know these people since 1995. Apparently I was not in Europe between 95 to 2000 and mid 2006 yet. I can tell you about their progress along in this years, yes, between 95 and 2006 along the vacation a little house like a weekend they build on the side on the country and so on um that he got an order from somebody from Ljubljana very very interested in uh but i don't think i think i don't think that was the case but it could have been that he would add that stuff too that they're interested in uh experimentation about food what kind of food have impact and so that they would use this palette of people also for that kind of stuff. They, 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 just, they would just go and sign and this, this would help me. It would be more people that would know. You know, obviously this kind of stuff is disturbing and I think pretty much this is the kind of stuff that was uh, used. Um, this was not about, you know, helping anybody out in, in, in absolutely any way. Uh, but they had a free hands to do whatever they wanted to do with a human being, pretty much. And so, it might have been people, definitely were in Poland, that were subjected to a lot of abuse. However, they did this stuff at their own will, because they wanted to do so. Now, I remember one guy from Wisconsin who definitely did not sign for it. And he was thrown 
uh, on that MK Ultra and subject to the worst humiliation you possibly can imagine. He suffered. I saw it in the stuff he did. I know that he did. It was not a fake game. It was not a fake stuff because I saw this that stuff with my own eyes and I, I, I know so that, that he suffered tremendously. This individual maybe, but I'm not certain, might have been one of the MK Ultra test subjects who reacted violently to the guy in Grotnika. And then what they, they did, uh, you're talking about the Hassan, uh, who was used literally to do stuff that was not a good stuff at all. Uh, then what they would do is they would simply destroy this individual uh, because he acted violently, whatever. Uh, as it appears that Donald Trump had higher standards, whatever. Um, I, I'm really sarcastic because this is, in my eyes, this is a complete idiot. This is an idiot who have a lot of money and he will sell the tickets that otherwise are protected with a warranty of violation of laws, constitution and shit like this, not even related to the human rights. He is making money by violating everything that's written in a book of law. As for you and me, what we are allowed and not allowed, he sells the tickets, the money, his circus makes the reality show money with doing the stuff that is actually considered as an illegitimate, illegal criminal. It goes not into like illegal, but plain, simple criminal. That's how he makes the money. So that he, the man has got to have a strong connections with the lawmakers, with the people that enforce law, the people that are up there. Now you're talking about the higher class politicians. Simple as this. The water issues, then stuff with uh, cleansing the lymphatic system, you know, uh, consume half of the body weight uh, so that's going to open, cleanse uh, the lymphatic system. Uh, but it was all kinds of shit. Uh, destinations such as Chantierneo, where they would take me to walk, uh, there was. Um, Brusnica is the name. It's about two hour away from here walk. Uh, they had like a little store, you know. And in that store is, it's Spar. It's not really Spar, but it's Spar. Spar is a German store. And next to that store, Mr. Alexander Vuc is a Serbian president, a Chetnik. Uh, he placed well, three families that I know of, and uh, these are not three families, but three guys, literally he imported them from Serbia, Chetniks, and basically to enforce the laws there. I like, is the stuff that I'm not supposed to know because I was never here, right? But, look, I can go out there, I can point out, uh, look, I don't actually even have anything against these people as far as personally in a sense that any of them would affect me. None of them affected me. They had this bravery was under MK Ultra when they have a person drugged up. In real life there is no such thing there is no bravery in real life. These people won't come to you and face and act like they did uh, when you were drugged up. But the bottom line here is that and this is in Slovenia, this is not in Serbia, this is not happening in Serbia, this happened in Slovenia. The bottom line is that Slovenian psychiatrists abused that kind of political issue to throw the weight, in this case, for example, straight into that store, into the theory that how you have to consume the water. In that store, that's where you're supposed to consume the water, and they fortified the environment, they electrified this environment with additional with the added weights you know, it was all kinds of stuff over there and death threats and this and that you know all kinds of war um, you go here to a torch it's uh, this bottled power this will walk brainwash all the time if you don't have one bottle of 
a water with you and you don't drink here this place you're dead you're dead you're dead everything was dead if you don't you're dead if you don't you're dead the guys I mentioned a little earlier as Chetniks I want to clarify that issue they were not sent only to this place here to this Brusnitsa uh, to terrorize people over there and so on uh, they were sent and also they were sent to other neighboring villages uh, this was why uh, this is what Alexander Vucic a president of Serbia have designated for but I think that this initial this initial view in their eyes on this country on this people here uh, probably already dissipated it's probably already gone and that's pretty much the idea uh, is that people that are brought into the certain element with bad intentions um, don't get a wrong idea about the element itself I think that their purpose uh, is just like other human beings to have families and live normal life um, they tried something they, they would come out and and you know give me like idea uh, where exactly I was brought uh, under MK Ultra over course of the years and so on uh, but I personally would not go what is um, Vucic, Alexander Vucic, that's a real Chetnik, that is a real garbage. Uh, anticipated he would do with this element here, that he would start some kind of um, war, maybe some kind of atmosphere like full of tensions that people... Uh, it's funny how I was updated on their locations and their houses over the course of the time and so on. Uh, and so I, I presume the idea was that I would go like a little uh, chihuahua, something like this, and bark uh, basically at the doorsteps of these people, uh, point them with a camera or something like this. It's completely out of any consideration. Uh, I wish them uh, a good stay here in Slovenia, hopefully that they would incorporate, acclimatize to uh, a normal society here in Slovenia. Borat Pahor, now Slovenian president, insisted me that they barely saved Sergei in the last moment. There was one guy that they barely saved, and that was Sergei. Uh, and threw a lot, a lot of weight on behind his claim. They had other people insisting me that this kind of stuff if you have this with the sound and this and that here experience and this like three months actually six months and then he reduced he said no actually not even three months you should already go and have a surgery immediately you have this for so many years you remember on the key ultra this is the kind of brainwash we we're talking about so the chances that you're gonna go and avoid you know the surgery not because of stuff I figured out myself about what goes on become really 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 slender and what I stated to you this is just a little uh, drop inside of this glass here going back to Poland um, things have gone so drastically in the wrong direction uh, if you remember the time about Fujitsu uh, and the Serbian not too far from this hostel on Gdansk told me that eventually that's where they kill you um, that's where they kill you um, at one point in time I was so poisoned in Luc in Poland in this hostel I think uh, and I think there was really in Fujitsu I think that Donald Trump wanted to make a case against me when I would be employed for Fujitsu he wanted to create this kind of issues but things didn't really go well along because I managed to record even an individual who stated me that's where they kill you uh, so that was actually even a setup it was proven that at one point in time I would see like uh, like like beings like um, 
huge, like beans, size lymph nodes popping up on my chest. Uh, first experience in such a pain that when I woke up in the morning I wasn't sure whether I, the fuck I did. Uh, is it radiation? Is it poisoning? And they have involved all kinds of stuff around that MK Ultra part. It would make you feel that I had actually probably a heart attack or something like this, that, that I'm going to suffer a heart attack. I felt that because the chest was burning from pain. You would not even be able to take a shower, use a soap, because it was too painful. I wasn't sure whether I am experiencing heart cardiac arrest or that morning when I rushed to Fujitsu, I didn't have even time to go and check and see what's going on. Uh, over the course of the day, that, that, that became uh, completely impossible. And they exercise a huge MK Ultra in Fujitsu, in Lodz, literally, on, yeah, how they're going to kill me uh, if you don't manage to get out of there on time and this and that and then and God. Well, maybe in Fujitsu they did have something called directed energy weapons to the point that clustered me to the point that I didn't have option other than to run out because the pain inside of the Fujitsu when I was it was becoming increasingly impossible for me to handle now this throws a bad light on Fujitsu um, and I frankly don't think this have anything to do with the people from Japan From Poland back to Slovenia. This, uh, I'm trying to explain how bad this stuff was. Later on, Polish police also threw themselves behind claim that it was actually a poison. That the bottle that I purchased with the seasoning in the store, which supposedly did not exist, but MK Ultra under MK Ultra did exist. They have a, such a store, like a ghost store, that would not exist and they would create a set of a store bring you inside of that store every time you would come and it was just like empty store uh you know not a rented store but when you would come you would you would have a different idea about it it would it would be stuff like this would be happening or with the ghost workers so that you would not identify so that kind of stuff would blend with the people that you didn't identify and so on there was this kind of stuff that went on uh a rust theory about the rust and I'm not even saying that was not actuality that was implemented I think it was with the parts that I just didn't know where the hell how the hell can you relate rust with a sound that you're experiencing in your head where the hell would you uh, you know anywhere from diabetes to, to all these issues where the hell would you get this and being preoccupied with employment in another country, learning language, meeting people involved in MK Ultra for so many years, this became uh, actually formed a really uh, a hell case for me. Very, very difficult to to know what is going on. For the first time that I actually really, really started to suspect, and it was after Fujitsu. It was down in Lodz Gurna. Um, it was thanks to this psychologist, Justina, because she took me to the hospital and during MK Ultra she would go also to the hospital and, there was and she, talked, she kept talking to me about the blood analysis. Blood analysis and even I remind myself that she told me that we did the complete check on you, this and that, there is everything is okay except for one gland node. That one is going to have to go. And she got obsessed with the idea that this is just the way it is and that's just the way it's going to have to be and this and that and tra la 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 la. Because I, she's not a physician or because she would think it's something bad or something else, she's just not a physician. Um, she doesn't know as much as physicians do and I don't think you can possibly 
um, if the politician such as Angela Merkel tells you that you're not going to figure out that it's the best thing to just go and do it, you probably can easily understand that uh, for the girl like this, a psychologist is probably just uh, somebody wants the best for you, just give you, tells you basically go and just do this stuff, just get over with it, get rid of it, whatever. Uh, not thinking, okay, not thinking, or now that's a big question. Um, who was that girl? Was that she or was not she? Um, they did use her doppelgangers. If she was, I was definitely going to find out. Uh, if she was not, in case she was not, um, the person insisted me that this would be like a place, like this place, this hospital, once I would go to the surgery was like the last time, that it would be like, most likely that this is not going to work out, it's not going to work out, but when you go to the surgery, it's going to be the last time that that's when we're going to see if um, if there is any still hope for us in Travala, in that sense. I personally think that was not she. Uh, I personally think that was a Serbian doppelganger. She fits in a picture in just about anywhere, anywhere from the USA and all these Slavic countries. Uh, her facial characteristics are such an it's it would be difficult for me that that you know especially the person doesn't it's a female and this and that and, and um, I don't attribute something that I'm not absolutely certain even that is like really really personal uh, I would still not go for her and say this is what she was this and that you can't it was still many really really bad people involved in it and it's therefore difficult for me to say just Bomb, you know, that's it. Another big breakthrough came for me, and it's why I started to talk about it. Confidence was with this Dr. Balaban from Bosnia and Herzegovina that was involved in it. Um, and talked about this gland node since 2001, and then actually even go to this Belgrade Institute. Uh, to get something done related to cancer and stuff like this. Dr. Balaban, now that's really exclusive for me. For my case it is, for me it is. Here's why, timing wise. Sometimes I believe, well, when I first met her, it was probably 95. Her and her boyfriend, I think it was. Um, and they were still in Croatia, I think or something like this or they were gonna go to Croatia I don't know what it was with the Croatia Croatia Bosnia Croatia Bosnia um, something happened to me bad sometimes in 96 in Belgrade I became aware of this hospital this big hospital in Belgrade and you know thanks to her Sometimes, I think in 97, I think it was 97, might have been 98. She stated me she's going to Belgrade to become a physician, a doctor, uh, into a university, thanks to this case, she stated, that it opened, that People chose different things, but she chose to become a physician, a doctor. Um, that they helped her, the Serbian government opened her a door in Belgrade. And that's where she have chosen to go. There was nothing she wanted, preferably to go to Bosnia, to Sarajevo, but there was nothing that went on. The circumstances were very difficult. And in Zagreb, plainly she didn't want to go so she she ended up going to Belgrade and it gives me an idea that that something bad happened in 96 mm, don't even think about in 97 already in 96 to me in Belgrade 
surgically they have done something. After she completed her doctoral degree, she went on to work for some time, something, specializing herself, whatever she was doing, and then again sometimes in probably, I'm not even sure, was it like 2004 or something like that, she went on to, again to Belgrade, to specialize into cancer issues that would benefit me. She was very preoccupied somehow with me. Um, completed uh, this, whatever was required from her, and uh, proceeded to to work her stash somewhere in some kind of hospital for, I don't know, seven months or something like this. Uh, it was something like this, I don't know. And appeared again inside of this village here in 2005, giving an update and even instructions for the local hospital here in Novo Mesa about my case, about what they have done to me. So that if this physicians here in Slovenia would know anything about exactly what was done to me, they would definitely know through her. Um, I was with her inside of this hospital here in Novo Mesto. Uh, and then it, uh, already before 2005, I think. It was a lot of stuff about this stupid gland notes, about uh, all kinds of stuff. They will help you if you will be okay, if you'll be uh, or not, if you will not be okay, and this and that. Um, this is just a person, in my eyes, in my views, that found herself in a very wrong circumstances. This, she's not a bad person inside of her. This is, I think, in my opinion, if she had done something, this has been done through her surroundings, her through circumstances she found herself in. Just simple as this, if anything, but I don't know anything about that. This is what Bosnian government, on the other hand, would know, whether something bad happened to someone there or not. But I cannot say against her any bad word, absolutely anything bad. Um, even that everything was how much I have to go on a surgery, that I have to go on a surgery, insisted, insisted, insisted on, on a surgery in, in a variety of ways. And then afterwards, already like, well, years would go back uh, through at the golf course here at a castle here um, in Struga, two hours away walking. She ensured that in a place that was monitored, I would be taught, uh, therefore she knew that they are monitoring this stuff, exactly the opposite, that this is not a good idea for me to go on a surgery. But, and if you study MK Ultra, anybody is going to tell you what comes first to mind is what you are told to do. And that was astronomical from her side on how I have to go to surgery. But still, the stuff I just mentioned to you right now is to me prices. I would uh, I'd rather credit her for what I stated prior to this than the last portion of it. For me, uh, for my case, actually from my standpoint, uh, a very, very considerable person in a positive sense. I can't say anything bad about her. I can't say anything bad about her. That was like a negative stuff because this is what she stated in the end she stated to me I hope you understand uh, that you should not go that you should avoid at all costs this surgery this and that that I did this because of the political stuff and that and yeah I think for what she stated I state because I know pretty sure and damn sure that she had a backup from the Serbian government. They know that 
to MK Ultra Victim, the first thing that comes to mind is what he was brainwashed with. I was brainwashed on this issue before she told me that kind of stuff. Therefore, probably I anticipated it happened in 2015, 2013, definitely 2015, maybe 10 years before this stuff to go on a surgery. Mm, I'd rather more probably than that. So once I was told like that, but like I stated, for me, she's very unique. She gave me even a courage to talk about this subject. So very important person from my side. Uh, took me inside of this university, literally, uh, in her university back and forth and brainwashed me on this cancer issues. Um, and this, excuse me, still um, up to that time uh, seemed to me like more insane than not that sound in the head would have something to do with a cancer issues. It just didn't. I, I tried to found this on the internet, the answer to this, I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't. I, I was trying to desperately find the answer to this stuff. I didn't get any. I was looking all over the internet. There's no one mentioned that, that, that you would have a sound that you could hear. And that this would be related to the cancer. This, I'm sorry. This, I did not. I did not find this anywhere in the internet. This was like the first thing is like going through trying to observe on the internet anything that would be related to this. I couldn't find any of that kind of stuff. It was actually started because also they even brainwashed me on a tinnitus. It was brainwashed on a tinnitus. They brainwashed me that that was interesting theory. That was in Poland also, they brainwashed me that they would have to drill me in the back. And I did mention this in one of the crazy videos when in Poland, that I was told that they would drill me in the back. Um, and that stuff was attributed to the Buckingham Palace, actually, that they found a way to save me. And the way to save me would be to drill in the, through the school and it would be a liquid that would come out and would drip out this liquid and that then it would completely free me of that kind of sound uh, be, uh but they related to the, the brain tumor and stuff like this but it's interesting that liquid right and when you when you think about this lymphic liquid liquid it's still it's not the same not anywhere but liquid you know um, misinformation, poisoning was on a theory. Directed energy attacks was on a theory. I could, I still couldn't find any any kind of connection with this. Where, how, how this stuff would happen? Then, when it comes to my tooth, this was another issue. The neighbor insisted me here because they did several times. They had. Not that this would be the reason why this would be it, but they would also play with my tooth, with this tooth. Uh, I was they, I was inside of these dental offices, and the next thing you see, they, they open your plump, take this out. Do you feel this? Do you feel this? Do you feel that? Eventually, I have even audio recorded. Um, one of the dentists here in Nova Mesta who was involved in MK Ultra um, from early stages, but I'm not sure whether she might have have done it here and there, but. Because this is funny, because I remember her even going in the school and stuff like that. Um, pushing me in the mouth, something that, that's going to x-ray my mouth and see what's going on. I did posted the tooth. 
and when I came to her in real time, she repeated the gimmick from MK Ultra that once I push you this thing in my mouth and you're gonna try to squeeze, it's gonna hurt you, and so you will remember that's me, this and that. But oh, geez, I remember all that stuff. Um, that's just really nice of her that she did anyhow that kind of stuff. Uh, but the neighbor that suggested me that uh, I don't know what this is in English sepsis. Um, it's a uh, infection from your tooth that that kind of stuff is gonna cause you this kind of stuff but yeah they 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 stress me this kind of issues uh that this stuff can kill you but this here gingivitis uh, this was the paranoia about this this kind of stuff and they stress all kinds of stuff that um on how that kind of stuff can be done and that you must do this and you must do that. Um, this in the normal circumstances is not a problem to go to the dentist and get it done under normal circumstances, you know, under normal circumstances. But, um, you know, the problem becomes when somebody's doing to you malicious stuff like this and somebody start to play with your teeth and stuff like that, doing this kind of stuff to you. Um, then the world becomes a little more complicated. Should you really go to this doctor? Should you go to the physician? Should you go to the dentist? Should you go and get this stuff done like normally otherwise you would? Uh, what are the dangers that you might face when you go there? Because I never ever was afraid, ever, of physicians, of doctors, even at dentists. Never had any kind of fear from it. <laughs> but when you go through the stuff like this, through MKO, for this kind of torture, uh, through this kind of extensive brainwash that they're going to eventually do to you something like they have done to Michael Jackson who went in a hospital for a relatively small thing and then the health problems would just basically expand, explode and stuff like this. It would just carry on more and more problems along the time. They would just multiply these problems. Then, you know, especially when you come and the parents remind you of MK Ultra clause which they insert in if it's not going to be the way we want we expect from you this and that uh, and then it's going to be from one disease to the other this is what was from when I came from Poland um, in other words you get rid of one thing a nausea is being insane or whatever uh, you get rid of that but you suffer some other kind of problem and so on and they did dream loudly about creating me all kinds of health problems so that psychiatric number one clause that I was told at the beginning that I'm gonna have to eat this psychiatric pills till I, till I eventually grow into my age till you get older and then you don't have the energy and this and that and then then you don't no longer have to then you are cured because you're old uh, and simply no longer pronounces an insane but we fuck your life up and this and that this kind of stuff went on and I'm guilty a lot of this kind of stuff and that's a very violent stuff so now if I do this kind of stuff to you and tell you hey just go to dentist and fix this and it was other stuff they they involved in other countries in our country you can now go to dentist now you it's okay here you can go to dentist but in Slovenia don't go and stuff like that hey it was plenty of that kind of stuff man it's not so simple as you would say oh well you know here he haven't done this or he hasn't done that people that are not paying attention to my case they know about this case are the people that hope for the worst uh, neighbor here insisted me that you are gonna have to uh, go to dentist and this and that um, if you're not gonna have this kind of issues they're gonna plant you this kind of issues that kind of theory they're gonna go and infect you a toothpick hole therefore so you're not gonna be able to use that uh, my head was just so filled with information with misinformation that quite frankly I didn't know what to do or what how to make or what to make out of it another theory they had was because of the neck because it, that you would have something with the neck 
Um... Neck problem, spine problem, spine related problem, and it would be because of that. They were playing with the spine, just as I already have explained, uh, since ages, since the beginning of MK Ultra. This is another one that was crazy. Um, brain cancer theories took me to Warsaw. main hospital and then to the hospital that was a newer hospital that they built um surgeries and stuff like this how are they gonna it was no reason actually for me not to that wasn't kaczynski was involved in this stuff this politicians from Warsaw, from poland it was no reason for me not to believe that there was not something wrong with the that there was not a brain cancer you know the 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 fact that Polish physicians gesture that I don't have the brain cancer stuff like this more to me it seems like a, it seemed to me at the time when I was in Grotnica when they said that I was actually insulted I was angry uh, it, it seemed to me like more like a conspiracy theory that I would not have it's like fucking calling me crazy with a, with a sound like this without tinnitus and with a sound like this that you would not have a brain cancer to me that sounded more like a conspiracy like like you're fucking doing this to me you don't want to help me out because um i don't know it was a very 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 hard time now let's see what exactly waited me here upon return to slovenia and the first thing i want to go and touch apart from these politicians, which I already did, they all insisted and insisted and insisted on surgery. They insisted on two things, tooth repair and uh, surgery, two things. They insisted on two things. Here in Novomesto, uh, inside of the hospital, I think it was a Novomesto hospital, the doctor, a physician who does uh, surgeries, uh, chirurg, in other words, such surgeries that's performing stated me eventually under MK Ultra that uh, for the gentleman, of course, I will have respect. Of course, I will have respect, and uh, I'll go, we'll take uh, his backpack. We're going to make sure that his backpack where he has the hard drives and stuff like this. Uh, this is from Poland. You're going to bring those proofs with you and so on. Um, we're going to make sure that. Uh, we're going to keep those next to his bed that he's going to get them. You know, this shit was very, very profound. Another situation involved the other day I met friend, um, Slavko, right here, from city of the Novo Mesto, also involved along another guy. Uh, another, uh, well, we didn't spend much time together, but acquaintance. Uh, we would go to the same school who also became a physician, doctor became and transferred from Novo Mesto to Maribor that's where they also had me they had me inside of the Maribor hospital also studying this cancer case and stuff like that man, uh, that this shit was not real about something as you should consider unavoidable in a theory uh, under MKL's or brainwash, this was just uh, not affordable not to consider. Okay? My niece, this was the craziest thing possible, I possibly could imagine, but in 2015, in 2013, I found myself all of a sudden with my niece um, not too far from here. It's called Javiavas. And then I found myself also here in, in this Kulandia. They have this DM stores. They're really good. They sell nutrition, vitamins, supplements, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, preaching me about how I have to eat vitamins. Vitamins, vitamins, vitamins that that how sugar is unhealthy, how this, how that. Well she was 
uh, eccentric all her life. She does have a little bit. She is a schizophrenic, in my opinion, if you ask me. Since she was little, she was like punished by her father. He would go and lock her inside of the toilet for the punishment if she wouldn't obey or something like that. If he wanted to punish her. And he's a strange fellow himself, anyways. It wasn't the right thing what he did. And he created some kind of personality in one that she has like a very heavy personality, very um, great inability to move on and normal, take joke as a joke. Um, well, in 2013 and my surprise in 2015, because anyhow, I was, I was selected as good to go for 2015, for uh, definitely 2015. 2015 was the last one. This was the last thing. The last time, the last chance is what I was told, 2015, for you to go to Poland. Because in Poland, it was like a of proofs for you about your MK Ultra. Uh, for her to gesture me really sound like really, really sweet, on to eat vitamins, you know, it almost felt like, uh, you know, I'm dealing with the family, you know. Uh, after all these years, under MK Ultra, the only thing it would be from her, it would be a death threat, basically. It would be, what you going to do to you, and you're going to see, and this and that, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. That's all it was. Her husband, Mitya Weber, got a job. They gave him a job here at the center. For the teacher because you have no idea the pressures this pressure on me the Slovenian politicians exercised on me don't even think about mentioning him because he's so intelligent because he's this because he's that we're gonna give him a job in the school so that stuff can remind you that he's a reputable personality and this and that is not never gonna be nothing in this tra -la -la -la. He insisted me that his father died at age 50. This was the song. This was the song that I remember him almost from the day one I met him. He, that father died at age 50 of cancer and that he was only in his own. And he bleeded and bleeded and bleeded, bleeded and bleeded under MK Ultra to me in my face all the time like a schizophrenic too. I have not met real schizophrenic yet, I don't know what the hell that looks like, but I imagine the idiot would go and would complain about his sacrifice. This is how I see schizophrenia. I see as somebody who just overrates himself, as somebody who just wants somehow to be admired, he wants to be seen for what he accomplished. This is basically all that time under MK Ultra when I was in the US whenever he got me, whenever he brought me to Slovenia. So officially this guy never was in the U.S. Um, all the time I had to listen from him about his accomplishment, about what he did, what he did, and his sacrifice, how he worked. He's not like me, that nobody gives him anything. His daddy died 50, this and that, and that also turns into something else. He turned also into threats that I'm going to be the one just remember 50, just remember 50, just remember 50. This guy was, it's why assuming that he is a schizo, due to his anger in him, bursting basically from anger, <sighs> giving another person this kind of threats, even if it's for, what you think even if it's for, I don't, I don't take this lightly, I don't think this is a joke, MK Ultra is not a joke. You can't tell this to the person. If you tell this kind of stuff to the person, in my eyes, in my view, you are a schizophrenic yourself, a paranoid, a maniac, a lunatic, eccentric, fool, basically. He came on a picture that sounds to me also like a schizophrenic. Look, by the way, there is no more schizophrenic country in this world than a Serbia is. I'm going to be straight with you. And the psychiatrist that I had,
from Ljubljana, these people who actually insisted that I even gestured on exterminated Slovenian people. Yes, it was that kind of stuff though. This is definitely an official document from the Belarus. It's right here. There you go. You can see it. This is from Slovenian state, from the Slovenian government. For somebody to lie something like this is no other than schizophrenia. Because if you lie with the stuff like this, you are a schizophrenic. Because you see stuff like this as a psychiatrist, you see the stuff like this as somebody, as a professional that does not exist, you're very dangerous in my eyes. Here it's written that must be killed uh, Jews, Slovenes and Gypsies, Roma people. Therefore, Slovenian, Jews and Gypsies that I stated that uh, that needed to be murdered. And this stuff was written by the Slovenian state. Look. Okay, this what you see here is what I was even told by the people from psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polia, afterwards that what you see here never ever existed. Okay, it did exist. Look. This is the circuit court here in the city of the Novo Mesto. It's a state persecution against me. What you see right now here was given to me literally in Ljubljana Polia. It was given to me, it was handed my, to me in my hands. Other patients who have read this, who have seen this, they said to me, man, you're never going to come out of this uh, mental hospital. You, you are, you're finished. You're definitely finished for good. My father claimed that I have done, I don't know what kind of harm to him, to mom. Um, claimed that uh, I am German, not Slovenian, uh, honorable member of the neo-Nazi party in Germany. Uh, claimed that, actually it does not even say whether my father stated this or not. And so where they got an idea about this, I do not know. Cl uh, claimed that I um, told him that the uh, Jews and Gypsies, that's how it's written, not Roma, but the Gypsies. That's also interesting, no? Uh, and Slovenian people, Slovenians, they needed to be exterminated, they needed to be all killed. So therefore myself too. And especially the communists, they needed to be obviously murdered. And so that I have spoken at night with people from Germany, and stuff like this, I never did. Uh, but that he listened at night when I was talking, obviously in German language with uh, Germans uh, and so on and so forth. And about the breaking week from Norway and serious, serious lunacy uh, that Helga from Sweden stalked me and stuff like this. They have written also all kinds of stuff that I would not know where I was during the meeting in Ljubljana Polia inside of the mental hospital. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff they talked about, nor that I would know what day, what time, nothing. It looked like from their report like I was completely, completely insane. None of which pertain to reality whatsoever. But the stuff like this sure did ruined my life and it was ruined for some totally other non-related to Slovenian nation or to Roma people or to Jewish nation to a state of the Israel behind crime which Serbia and Russia were hiding against because they were the one they suggested through all kinds of paranoia they injected inside of MKUltra, how I'm going to be hijacked, how they're going to kill me with a sniper, you know, all kinds of stuff like this. I don't know if I would state to you that 
I am angry when I read about stuff like this. I am not. Uh, for that matter, I'm not angry because one of the psychiatrists, actually that was a Tatiana Prochu, told me that big deal because, you know, they explained to me that they found themselves on a picture uh, along Muja and other people because in a, in a big way in Serbia people suffer from schizophrenia in a big way and because of this epidemic in Serbia they decided to do something about this help and have gone and studied this kind of shit uh, actually subject schizophrenia and well what actually angers me is that you would go and maliciously tag somebody with such issues for which you know very good that he does not have anything to do with it so you can convert uh, abuse against one that that's actually really low that's actually really really low nothing against the people who have one but if you would go and do the stuff like this and you killing Slovenian people genociding Slovenian people in Slovenian state accusing me that I had a plan to exterminate Slovenian people this is just a little bit uh, a little bit too much you maybe love this country a little bit too much how about this um, just uh, such a variety uh, such a dense number of bullshit that individual that who find himself in a world like this becomes uh, really it's very very difficult to to find that pattern that one should follow you know uh, but what can you do I mean we, uh, when the, when you go inside of the hospital and the physicians alone tell you otherwise um, I don't know, I didn't go for the physician. This is the same shit like you go for a physician and you go to a mechanic and you ask mechanic about certain issues and he doesn't tell you anything about. It appears that you, in the end, know more and you go to the other one and who doesn't know also and you go to another one and stuff like this. And at the end, you are the one who have to know more about these issues than they do. I don't know what to tell you. That can be disturbing stuff, you have to admit that. Dr. Balaban contributed, back to her, contributed enormously in a sense. She just wanted me at all costs to remember about the issue I am dealing with. And she did, for that matter, she did extremely, extremely good job. The way she illustrated me with a certain issues. Her friend, literally got married guy here from the village. The only thing I can say is, I can say to her, thank you. In, in my book, she is written down, her name is written down as a positive, nothing negative. The pressure on me is what I'm trying to say from all the directions possible, you possibly can imagine, was like immense. Knees, for the first time, that started to worry about, it's just like crazy, because her husband, like I said, insisted me from the day one we met that his father died at age 50 from cancer. Exactly at age 50. And the fucking guy was repeating this shit to me like 20 years down the road. That's long enough, right? Um, and added to that too, that I too at age 50 will be dead. 50, remember 50, he said. Next to radiation he specialized himself into his threats and how he's going to radiate me how is going to be radiation done how he measured every centimeter through everything i possibly could use how they're going to know exactly what to radiate and stuff like this uh that's a very very negative annotation for one 
And so for that matter, for the first time in 2013, when my niece and he took me to the stores and stuff and talked to me about vitamins and what kind of food I should not eat, I felt like, wow, kind of like, oh, they also expressed concern for me that they do care about me and this and that. Um, under MK Ultra, I'm going to say I just wasn't that scared of them anymore. And I think that's a scary statement when you're talking about your niece, her husband, and stuff like this. That's fucking scary. When you become scared of the people, uh, that are your family relatives, uh, I think that's fucking scary. That's not a good sign, like family relation-wise. What kind of food I should eat, what kind of food I should not eat, would go through fridge, what is good for you, what's not good for you. And yes, I got definitely the impression that the poor Sergey from Belarus was used like a test rat, like a, somebody they tested on my food, food that I consume, on how that's going to have an impact on me. Sergey, all he wanted to do was help me out one point and I know so because one time he stopped me and he said he kept coming on picture here and there he would appear himself on a picture and go with me even after he already was done here in Novo Mesto he would keep find his way back to remind me of this stuff he told me you know he told me Sebastian we are doing all this stuff but you're not doing anything and quite frankly, I'm going to tell you what I think. And he said, I think you're dead. I think you're finished. He said, when you're going to come here, and there was a pond, you know, uh, on a golf course, right not too far from here, and through, ne next to Struga Castle. And the only thing I would do during MKR try, I would not give a shit about anybody, anything. And the only thing that would appeal to me would be like a good-looking lady or a pond, a river, and stuff like that. Because, frankly, honest to God, just as Sergei realized, I didn't give a shit about anything. The truth is, I hated it so much that I didn't want to give a shit about anything. I actually even figured out that if I fuck them enough, for long enough, they're going to give in and let me alone already. But they did not, and Sergei told me, you know, there is no, almost no chance for you that you're going to make it. You know? And one day you're going to see this pond and you're going to come here and you're going to remind yourself of this and that. And tra -la 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 -la. I was trying to tell them. I was begging them. I was trying to convince them not to do this shit to you. That would probably also make Sergei is the only man who did this shit, I think. I don't think anybody ever did. But I think, I'm pretty sure that really he did. He did. He said, but they will not let go, they will not let go, they will not let go, they will not let you get away with it. And I don't know, I'm afraid what with you and this and that. So this guy was really concerned about me, I can tell you that he was really, really concerned about me. The food was like this. <clears throat> the cheese, brie, French cheese, no, don't eat. Um, chocolate cream. This circuit on me alone. This is what we're going to call his... Uh, this is where we're going to put the poison. Not because he would have anything to do with it. But because it does have such a negative probably impact on... Probably had a negative impact on him. Because he alone, he was making a list of how what impacted and he just tried to help me out so that I would avoid what he did not somehow because seems like he was obligated to eat this kind of junk that I eat I ate and probably did so just really really bad stuff okay not a good not a good food not a good stuff 
the foot, the surgery that, that Sergey have undergo, uh, actually, in my opinion, that must have happened not in 2005, but in 2008. Because you know why I know this? Because he knew about the kind of food that I eat. And he ate exactly that kind of food. He had gone exactly to that kind of stuff. And so, there you have it. That's why I said it for other guys that um, that they mentioned it was other guys, it's Americans. I think they were fake, they were light. There was no truth in it. But in 2008, 2010, Sergey did actually really go through this kind of stuff. Bad food would be roasted chestnut anything roasted yeah they give me the complete 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 on everything i'm not a chestnut eater or something like that but they involve mother that mother would be doing this kind of thing and have gone further to suggest insist me that it was because sergey had to eat this kind of food it's the kind of food she would have to prepare and that if she would not prepare that kind of food, then my mom would be, because she gave him that kind of food. That was the official story that was given to me. I don't know. Frankly, to tell you, um, I heard too many lies. I heard... Uh, Actually, if you would say something about the food, the mom would be that those are actually the instructions, right? Because um, that was the food that she gave him. And so if you would say anything about that kind of food, uh, something would have been wrong. Uh, the truth is that I never paid attention to this kind of issue. The truth is that I ate all kinds of food. I never cared about what I really ate. Uh, I never drank alcohol. I never did any of that kind of stuff. Um, and so, how the hell would this have anything to do with uh, Sergei's situation and myself? I do not completely understand that issue. I am not. I'm not getting it. Why would that have impact on mother? I don't understand. But me being quiet about uh, basically about what goes on, yeah, it would have a good impact probably on my knees. Lies that upon my return from Poland, if I would be saying that my father is not demented, but at the same time, he brainwashed me under MK Ultra. What kind of bullshit is going to do to me? And if I would be saying that kind of stuff, it's going to be the state, the one, that he's going to play completely demented, that he does not remember anything, that he um, doesn't know what he's doing at all. But if I would be saying that he's faking or something like this, state would just delete him. For real. So what to believe in exactly in this kind of stories and this and that? Very difficult because this is the stuff that was written by the psychiatrists. This is the stuff that was written by the people who play with the human mind. With the people who fuck with the human mind. I don't believe that anybody from Ljubljana, let's say, concerning Kapsch, this is a Slovenian psychiatrist, by the way, ever gave him requests that they would be doing, that they would be testing products uh, on people. But when you have this kind of issue for which you know you're going to have an issue, and when they take you and they tell you grounded meat, when they tell you um, like Alexander Vucic was like a really, really, really big at this Shizoya. He would be like one time Vrhnje, Vrhnje, Smetana. In Slovenian, in Serbian, Vrhnje is um, 
smetana in Slovenian language that's a cream sweet sweet cream cream uh, in English language that one's gonna once twice like this and you're dead and you're dead niece her husband um, yeah when you come from a place that for like three years two and a half years you didn't eat not a good any kind of good food like the case was important you don't want to try all these goodies and stuff like this uh, and that's a plenty plenty trouble for you that definitely definitely is true now all true we did have with some strange cooking stuff too but um, I would basically have to take abuse um, for the sake of my mom and my dad basically if I wouldn't take the abuse, if I wouldn't take shit, they would get rid of my mom and my dad. And once they would get rid of my mom and my dad, I would stay without the income. That was the name of the song. And they created a whole shizoya. There's another video I have created about what, what kind of stuff they have extorted me with. Not even leaving father alone at home. was advisable thing to do because he could get visit at home while we wouldn't be here not even that kind of stuff and that would mean basically being him being terminated i don't know what kind of stuff yeah that kind of stuff that kind of stuff it's a video separate to this one that i will reserve to i just want to continue about this health issues the world they have placed me in so that you will understand what kind of circumstances this how this this stuff was how this shit was created now they started with maybe the most um, extreme in all this stuff if 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 the issues concerning what you should eat and you know my niece she was and her husband was like sadistically laughing at me and saying all the stuff that you like like chips chocolate all the kind of uh, uh, bakery and stuff like this none of that stuff none of that stuff so you're gonna have to eat the food you're gonna have to eat the food just like we do the kind of food that you hate and I was like wow the kind of food that I hate it was the niece's husband who added bullshit to the theory that he does not even eat meat anymore because thanks to me thanks to my system play with the lymph nodes, gland nodes, uh, lymphatic system. He came to conclusion that is the best, especially because here and there they poison you for you to only eat green, basically vegetables, then you're okay. So I figure out it's not so much about, if I repeat his words, it's not so much about uh, tasty food and this and that but what matters more is that uh, you know I kind of said then the mom reminded me of that bullshit once I was here that this is this is the way it is now now that this is what he eats and this and that and yeah because of my age because you will be 50 you will be old old you know not the kind of food you like you will be old It's kind of issues that bring me to conclusion that politicians knew that somehow I'm going to make it through. Maybe even make it financial. And they just wanted to make sure that I spend my life in as much as misery as possible. And they just hated my guts, just like my niece, I'm going to say, and her hubby. Because you can't enjoy not even food. You never had any woman. You don't have children. You don't have nothing. You don't have shit. You are at home jobless so they can fuck with you, so they can do stuff to you. And it seems like that 
this is just as they claim me this is this is what my life would be like this is what this is how this is gonna be like yeah uh, that's not what my life is or ever was like it only is suggesting clearly these people are mentally ill sick people and you're not talking even about you're talking also about Kaczynski, Andrzej Duda, Morawiecki you're talking about the Polacks here too you're not talking only about here about the Belgrade or Moscow or something like this you're talking about politicians also from Poland like this they had their pretensions going on uh, they have all kinds of pretensions going on in Poland that you're gonna eat uh, cheap shit food that otherwise uh, disgusting tasteless in Poland, they were making fun of the food I ate. It was, at times, it was a knowledge, like food for the porks, for the swines, and all kinds of stuff like this. Uh, and it was that kind of food that you're going to eat. And when you're going to have the money, that's when you're not going to be able to eat a lot. Ha, 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 you know, this kind of stuff. Or maybe that's the best one yet, maybe. Um, about my knees, maybe that that one I really um, think it's even more fucking crazy. I don't know. Maybe they pay them for this kind of stuff to to create to tell something or something like this. I don't know. Um, but this too, I gotta say, it was it's like a perfect couple. It seems to me like as if they would really. assembled a perfect couple for one another sometimes in uh, 2006 upon my return to Slovenia from the US from where I was absent for 11 and a half years you know left in 94 return in mid 2006 to Slovenia it's 11 and a half years missing from Slovenia uh, I will not forget you know, I will not forget when this uh, husband of my niece told me that, you know, sarcastic, sadistic. So I think he's not normal, this guy. He's not normal, this guy. Uh, Nan, you know, like also repeated me through MK Ultra. With the age, men become more charming, you know, ridiculing me that I'm growing older, crazy uncle, you know, without the children, wife, and stuff like that. And it's exactly the type of thought that I can associate with his green, you know, with the vegetable salad eating. Uh, they wanted, they craved, I don't know what the fuck, the idea was to make me crazy, to make me obsessed, basically, to eat green 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 because they exampled me with people usually figure out how good it is to eat uh, green you know salads and stuff like this once it's already too late unfortunately only because it's already when it's too late you know it was like in that annotation because it's it's too late it's too late it's only people do realize that unfortunately they realize that when it's already too late now so Either way, uh, this poets, this couple, this beautiful couple assembled together, <clears throat> I think their ideas were related to Borat Pahor. As it was a Borat Pahor who had this kind of a list, he made a list, and this list they would have one circulate around. In the village and it would take this to another village into another village and basically put your name on that list if you're willing to do something to this guy if you're to perform willing to death threat torture you know that kind of stuff and you might get a opportunity otherwise you wouldn't a, a job a better paid job or an easier job or whatever it might be job related shit so I think it might be as well as mine unless they are complete Jesus uh, in a best case in a best possible scenario would be maybe related to something like that but like I said I don't exclude that other option
I'm sorry, it's a little bit a lot of this bullshit. As I'm, I don't want to miss anything on my knees, especially because this is just, you know, it's very contradictory when somebody is obviously trying to disturb you with this talk about vitamins, what you should eat, and how much they love you and worry about you. Uh, I don't know what is more disturbing. You then you have to start to think way in between. Is it somebody, is it, is it when they're talking to you about the stuff you should eat or the stuff they have spoken to you about? And the way the story with the vitamins, this is how they ended one. They, they gave me a breakdown on what helps and what doesn't help to the gland notes, lymph notes. They give, they give me a background. Uh, the way that stuff ended, it did go all the way to Kulandia. I, I did talk to you about this. Uh, torture and shopping issue. They wanted me to do this kind of stuff during the Trump elections. They wanted the brainwash to make this kind of video. Oh, make this. Um, the funniest thing about all this theory to me, the most irrational stuff to me, all through your put in this, your put in this current, rip current that you can get out of it. You know, mom insisted that don't even give him the idea about vitamins because whomever, whomever they have used as a substitution for the Polish psychologist suggested um, in case you want to delay you know that kind of stuff with this cancer issue surgery you would go for vitamin and teach him about this my mother was like oh no um, it's better that and others uh, it's better for him to get rid of now not we're not going to postpone this to the later age stage and stuff like that that kind of bullshit anyhow the niece concluded that th this was the funny thing about their theories that no matter what you would do it's not going to help you out they stick to the promises they stated it would be the promise always was Whenever you spend throwing money away for something which you don't have, you don't have scarce, um, keep you away from employment, 100%, vacuum the way from employment. The only time you can go to employment, they give me the referrals, is where they have MK Ultra going on at potential employers. They thank you very much, no, that kind of stuff anymore. Not interested in that. Whenever you would throw money on something, on some issue, whatever that might be that that you would do or even change maybe cutting the sugar or something like that, or whatever it would be okay for even maybe one day so that means that it's already what i demonstrated that means that the radiation had a complete total control it's just at that point in time i wasn't sure was it radiation was it poisoning what the fuck went on where they put this stuff how they do it i have no idea whatsoever Obviously, this got to do with, as mom stated to me, if it will go in a long run, leukemia, leukemia, that's radiation, because this is what I express my interest in, what's going to happen with me, because they did talk to me about radiation too. It stopped for a day, once you would do this, and it always continues on but you're going to eat vitamins and chocolates that doesn't go together and then it's going to continue it's actually worse because when you take the vitamins and stuff like this they they will start the presentation about the vitamins with and it was the same with the c vitamins in a such a way that it will help you it will do this for you it will do that for you but eventually you're going to start eating the chocolate and once you start to cure and then you start, you take a chocolate, even if it's a small chunk of chocolate or um, a spoon of sugar or something like this, then the vitamin doesn't work anymore. And the only thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna find yourself with a few empty bottles of vitamins. And basically that's about it. This, this, this was the game, you know, this was the game. And yeah, poisoning can be uh, poisoning by consumption or it can be also poisoning by radiation. And that's the kind of stuff. Well, um, the first time I started to think about the poisoning, 
when it comes to radiation, eventually this concerned this issue here, which supposedly, you know, uh, look at this schizo phase. This is total schiz schizophrenic phase with this thing dripping down. When I'll do this stuff that you will remember, that you will remind yourself, poisoned, this is already when it's too late for you. This is already when it's over for you. This is when you are already dead and this and that. No, this shit, this, this, this individual too was involved in MK Ultra. Uh, and through the mainstream media, they project in your face a lot of very irregular, very, um, very irregular stuff. And so, it was really literally stages. Walking C vitamin, uh, no swimming in a cold river. Um, it, all kinds of stuff that would totally totally like this cluster you that you would not even see anywhere beyond basically in any possible fucking way but it was like well at least two and a half years that i contemplated in between poisoning is physical consumption and poisoning through I don't know, whether through the electromagnetic radiation or whatever kind of weapon, m microwaving, whatever kind of weaponry they use. I have no idea what the fuck they use. That, what exactly I was investigating, I, I, I started to investigate, what, what was it? Was it this? Was it that? Special strange was that detector I would purchase disappeared. And the stuff that I used would not indicate the way it should that means it was also altered equipment and so on and so forth why would that be so important to somebody that i would have absolutely no mean nothing that i could use to eventually do something about this altering all the telephones uh, reprogram them change everything about them this whole thing didn't make um The idea is to create confusion, uh, to point one time in this direction, the other time in that direction, and so on. And this goes very well along the psychiatric lies they create. You know, they accuse you of something and this and that, and you, you, you don't cluster your mind completely so that you, you can't say anything. You know? But when the physicians give in, when you go to a physician who knows, if anybody in this world knows easily about what you have going on like this, it's a physician. But when you, who don't know anything about it, about um, close to nothing do I know when compared to physicians, about health issues, body health issues, cancer related stuff and stuff like that, I didn't have a time. I could, under normal cir circumstances, sit and pay attention and brain pay attention to this stuff and know what's going on. But you're, you're so cluster with the kind of stuff it, it becomes completely in, not in, not even interesting this kind of stuff anymore you know all you want to do is you want to do your stuff and go on about it because you figure out it's better to just complete the stuff and and either way this is like for so many years 26 years this this stuff goes on that this should definitely trigger you know interest from law enforcement agencies from human rights organizations and so on and you're basically left out on the rain, regardless of it. And it was a set of people, set of people involved from early stages in NK Ultra who claimed me that they were worried about me, they were there to help, including from overseas. And they were there to help, and da 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 da. Knowing my father, knowing my mom, some of which politicians, who swore on how my mom is great, and this and that. My mom was liked by the Ljubljana Psychiatric Hospital. Um, if you will go against your mom, and then nothing. If you're going to do this, and then nothing. Um, 
you figure out at the end of the day that you as a human being you don't count in this case you figure out that at the end of the day that you have been used as some kind of a transfer trolley uh, for the money or something like this that you don't actually even count in this whole thing and that it's completely other issues that count it's like everything that counts in this world except you here like some kind of a trash bag or something like this that everybody can dispose garbage through which they believe that uh, they are going to collect money or something like this. This is exactly the kind of feeling I got. And I think this is a very, very wrong feeling. I think this was a part of the tactic because I started to see in people stuff and this in people that did not have this kind of interest. They did not have this kind of ideas just money money and this and that that i shouldn't have and you start to you know you start to feel you start you start to resent uh eventually the people that uh, even try to help you along the people that are shit that are uh, real scammers that are really no good this is not easy stuff this kind of stuff folks there was a time in poland that was a while about the white tea a cocoa and the white tea oh you know those are still those mm, white tea for the first time I heard about was under MK Ultra in Poland wow man because you know from those diabetes issues and shit like this they moved on to the pressure um, garlic they went down to ingredients literally breaking down well, what's good for you what's not good for you is the problem is that when you have a broken spine an injury here and injury there it, the two mismatch with one another they contradict they create like opposing the the interests here are intersecting the side effects the good and bad are intersecting they go exactly the opposite way you can't match um cocoa um that beats down um, that was a highly recommended cocoa that beats down a blood pressure and stuff like that. Later on it was figured out that it's a cocoa that's bad for your gland nodes, lip nodes. Um, uh, garlic that is more expensive because it's really healthy for the blood pressure and stuff like this. They related to blood pressure. Now this, is, this stuff is got definitely radiation, got to do with the blood thickening with the cells and so on. It does have to do with it. Uh, garlic will make you feel better uh, the thing about it is that no none of this stuff is going to resolve any of the issues some of which are going to even worsen all kinds of symptoms and so on there is no natural cure for radiation you know there is no such thing as you know but they would break all kinds of ingredients and as they would tell you what fish what you should eat one thing for something that has it would have bad impact on something else and so on how are you gonna be I really am unsure you know but the food anything fried like deep fried and stuff like that the microwave I reported uh, that kind of stuff already once I started to measure the radiation it was something that was bad strange enough this microwave that was all fucked up would not go out of this house on a junkyard uh, but still sticked around for like all my duration in Poland for, two, for another two and a half years when I was in Poland this shit still waiting for me to come back and it's the kind of stuff that they all explain me that this kind of stuff you're only going to eat once, twice from here, and then you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. So I anything like this, anything you like, including fish, fish not good for you, that's not good for you, this is not good, nothing fucking good for you. Why should you be even alive if nothing is good for you? You never drink alcohol, you don't have any kind of diseases, you don't have any fucking thing, and just nothing is really fucking good for you. Why should you live? I mean, for what? For fucking air, for air and for the water, basically, I guess.
yeah, I'm sorry, but this schizophrenia from Serbia polluted the world. This shit polluted the world. The final result of the schizoia was a Donald Trump who fucked the United States of America up. It's a bigger concern. It's a bigger concern. It's a huge concern. It's a huge concern that they project. They sicken the world with this kind of stuff. I'm not the only one who got sickened by this kind of stuff. They sickened the world. They, they, they demented. They sickened the world. It's like you would release some kind of a genie into, into air or something like this and make the whole planet sick. Doesn't do you any good commercial doing stuff like this, really. I didn't lose hope because of Alexander Vucic or let's say Karadzic who was my personal case manager in Serbia. He is a psychiatrist by education. I lost hope because of Tadic. Tadic supposedly is exactly the opposite of Alexander Vucic. It's another Serbian politician that was involved in this stuff and there was no difference between him and Vucic really. He extorted on money issues and stuff like this. Um, it's like, uh, and on other issues, all kinds of lies he produced and so on. Listen, it's like, it's like a world of crime. Um, you know, uh, so many problems because people see over there things that don't fucking exist. And people who see things that don't exist lie. And that's basically what I call a schizophrenia. That's what I call a schizophrenia. And with your lies, with the stuff that you produce, you then sicken other people. That's why I'm angry about this. I'm not angry because of Alexander Vucic, I'm not angry because of Karadzic and Shechel only at whose home I was since 96, I would go in his apartment building and meet his cleaning lady, whatever. I'm angry because because you lie, because of what I stated. It's lie, steal, and kill. And that's for the people who don't like to work, if you understand me. Because you don't like to work, you expect that other people will also not to work. Because you're going to make them not to fucking work. That's why Donald Trump was so successful. Some Democrat politicians who believed it down in Serbia and Belgrade, it was times like this, even gestured that I don't have to worry about it. Because they made sure that in Belgrade, the main hospital, they do have everything to accommodate with people with the cancer issues. And they make also sure to remind me of that through the Wikipedia where they have written all the shit. And they always use the Wikipedia to brainwash on all these issues. It was always inside of the Wikipedia. On my knee issue, how they, uh, it would be equal, like they hit you with the bat. Those are the kind of stuff. They always make sure through the Wikipedia that would this kind of extreme uh, examples that would put them inside of the Wikipedia. And I needed so many proofs about this shit, recognizing so many people from the past and, and stuff, because I'm up against such a big politicians. Otherwise, under normal circumstances, I've seen on a video about a Canada, I think two sisters were hospitalized, it was enough for them to just say there was MK Ultra and they were hospitalized in one of the Canadian hospitals and they came out and they built them out and this is the way it was but not in this case because you are up and against such a big authorities big politicians well any excuse is good
as much as believe me i wouldn't want to talk about my family but this shit went into completely other extreme issues such as me how i'm going to be without the energy that i will be completely completely without the energy that 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 to help me out they're going to involve eventually when they're going to come to do the installation now we go to the furnace now we go to that bullshit the furnace the furnace that this new furnace is going to be controlled through through the internet i'm not sure this shit is connected to the internet but that was a shizoya under mk ultra that this is going to be all through the internet but the niece's husband was the one who talked a lot about the bluetooth bluetooth connect bluetooth 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 so that he will do this in a such a sophisticated way that eventually any politicians when i would be writing the news could trigger against me radiation uh, because this furnace which they have installed right under my room um, is connected to the heating system at the old furnace this is where the boiler is for the water and stuff like this so it's going from here the water is circling to that one and that's where the meter turns on temperature is uh, um, oh, how do you even say that thermostat uh, control uh, measures temperature controls the temperature meter is over there here's the fucking meter meter is everywhere meter is everywhere it's inside of the kitchen is a thermostat tool and so on you don't know anymore where this shit is blowing through and it's not pleasant when somebody tells you this from moscow how they have fucked up this whole thing system and based on whatever you're going to be writing that's how much you're going to receive and stuff like this and this guy basically boasting uh what a job he did and and with the house and this and that then there was more shizoya then the shizoya basically expanded to a question from my neighbor here who asked me if i know by any chance uh he, he would meet we would talk about the issues and he would ask me if i know by any chance what it means that it's so other man neighbor here berger who asked me if I know what it means that all of a sudden he that he lost all of a sudden like eight kilos or something else, what that means yeah well you go to to Wikipedia it's called cancer also the day that he would try to remind me of that so everywhere the fuck I would go everybody was trying to remind me of cancer and how much the fuck I need that surgery basically to save my life um, I want to thank really do and i also remember who did it will not state the names of these people but there's also a police officers here from nova mesa who told me don't go and do that shit man because we checked that for you we saw it uh and we learned that a surgery just you're going and removing a gland node you know it was a police officers like this and it was a police officers like that and even the police officers that were good police officers sometimes had to do bad stuff so they wouldn't get on a suspicion now if that takes you back to dr balaban and that takes you back to some other people too that were in this kind of circumstances then you get to understand that uh you have to really really read between the lines which is kind of difficult if you want to get um you know through issue like that don't do that man you you remove one and then i think they told me you remove only one more and then the third one we don't even know they said what happens with you then how the fuck you're gonna function then so don't go and just do something like that if there is no other way then just fucking delay but don't just go on a surgery and do something like this for that same reason, this very same guys also talk to me about deodorants. That they're gonna be be careful with the deodorants because carry with deodorant all the time with you, they can do something to it. And that don't buy the one that holds 48 hours. The 48 hours that is too strong. I don't know. That has an impact. 
also on a grand note, on a lint note. There was a talk about uh, spy cameras and what you're gonna eat. Yep, if you are in this kind of situation, that this, that if you're gonna eat uh, some kind of food, any kind of food, that's basically enforcement of what you're gonna eat. That's an interesting topic. It was a lot about if you're gonna eat something like um, sugary stuff like this, they're gonna give you a double dose of radiation. Um, so now basically you would go and you would start to enforce, uh, push down the throat someone and, and, and think about the issues, those kind of issues, you know, the food you like, my niece said, the food you like to eat, you're not gonna, you know, you're without the energy, but you can't drink coffee in the morning. Um, what kind of food you're gonna eat? Oh, well, this shit here, the detector, that can fucking confirm that when I ate something, I got radiated like a mouse. So this isn't about that somebody only listens but they somehow get to see what the fuck I do, where I eat, what I eat, what's going on. Okay, and the last, and trust me, it's not the last. Don't know how much you remember on December the 21st what happened. I was assaulted by Mr. Gejo and his son. Mr. Gejo and his son, Mr. Gejo is Bosnian Serb. His son, half half, half Slovenian, half Bosnian Serb, whatever. Um, he didn't fake, they didn't fake, Sergey and some other guy, Sergey from Belarus and Sergey from Ukraine, both got in a battle with Mr. Gejo. It was one of the places they tested completely, tested really well, and pulled the short one. Uh, both of these guys probably weighed about 110 kilos or more each. Um, I got away with it without a scratch, almost. Uh, but it was a time with Mr. Gadjo on one hand would grab me like this, get my head right in between and go like this and literally lift me up from the ground like this lift me up on the neck what he told me that he's gonna probably crack me neck and so on no this was a really really serious deal he did complied while his son on the other hand would twist my hand it was like this he completely complied with Vucic, with Alexander Vucic's orders, completely. A police officer also, I don't, I don't know, is it half serve or completely served from Maribor joint, whom I have also identified in this incident. No, I'm not, I'm not going after, after Mr. Gedro. Mr. Gadger is a um, very interesting uh, person, otherwise. He's, he's, he's not a bad person. I think he's not a bad person. I think he's not a bad person despite everything. He did, however, comply with Vucic in, everything, in every demand Vucic had. Make no mistake about that. Because that day, that evening, he could eventually even break my neck. easily that could happen so according to what he stated to me according to what he alone stated to me this will be used and sure it was I was like a chewing gum when these two guys both trained um, I don't know what weightlifting and uh, wrestling judo whatever uh, stretch me like a chewing gum literally uh, according to MK Ultra to see, he said to me, for one gland, no, we know it's going to have to go for sure. But we're going to do this like a total test. And I don't know for how long this battle 
physical went on for like I don't know uh, it felt like police needed eternity police next door basically well what is it maybe 500 yards from there the police department they need like a half an hour to come if there's any other gun note that will have to be removed once that stuff was completed on me they stopped just like with a vitamin purchase or with any other stuff or when i started to consume c vitamins so that then will prove me the theory that there is no rescue for me they would start to radiate again for two days i didn't experience all of a sudden any sound in my head it was all artificially done but it was a bullshit brainwash on the MK Ultra what's gonna be like it's gonna be like grand nodes stretch and they need to work out and that's where it cleans out you know the system the lymphic system Mr. Gadjo who also took me to Belgrade he has a property in Belgrade. A Roma girl. I have written about her, met her in Shmihel. Um So I was told has a child. Sylvia is her name. It is the girl I met sometimes in I am not sure. Was it maybe ninety eight? I would walk down right there in that street where she still is there and i saw this girl and this girl i i was looking at her this is just a pretty roma girl uh, and she was looking at me and the next thing you see we found each other i was with her here uh, at con uh, uh, right at the opposite side of the house our old house in the city and they had these apartment buildings and they already assigned her an apartment building apartment for her and it didn't work out i don't know but that's really beautiful girl and mr gadjo he would go about just like a police officer he would go into everything to find out about me and i understand he even had a problem with a psychiatrist he did not agree with it he liked me a lot and he had a problem himself they started to threaten him and bullshit with him um at one point in time he found out about this girl sylvia and make child with her too so he likes me and i kind of like him but you know it's the politics like this that uh, they created insane basically for everybody except for the people that are truly insane there's still still what i have to translate i still owe you this year to translate to get it translated here if it's anything ready to translate i would know that he had a child with this girl uh if he wouldn't tell me about it but I was with the two. I was with the Sylvia and with him. Um, I yet need to translate this kind of stuff, but it's, you know, for anybody that would just try to, to, to be suspicious about any stuff, of, this is like, you would want to go and counter my facts with, you know, with my report to what I stated. Imagine with the facts, you, with the stuff that I reported, with the proofs, you be my guest, go ahead, make my day, like somebody said. Some even involved really well-known people. 
that send their warnings um, the day after I published the video about my mom schizophrenia already found its way from America to Slovenia Oh, this is about Charlie Sheen, who was involved in MK Ultra big time. And uh, basically, Charlie Sheen has a big regrets and repeats from MK Ultra. Um, according to him, the fastest recognition about the case definitely would be from my family. Um, and he does have only regret that he chose over 55 ways which would bring him to the goal he chose the 56th one which this you have to read this article yourself I'm not gonna go through that stuff uh, 56th one which it would not bring him anywhere basically that's the only regret he has. Um, I don't even. Uh, let me let me just see this here. Let's go 56, and this is pretty much. There you go. This is pretty much from his MK Ultra. So you know, for somebody to say that it wasn't Americans, it's not like this because they send you a signal. They confirm this stuff to the internet. They 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 they, they make you read. They remind you basically. But you could say that it was fifty-five ways to fuck me more through the landlords alone. It was like this, fifty-five times promise probably that it would be this and it would be that, and it's, it was that fifty-six one uh, that you chose, but not because it was your fault, but because it was just too much violence involved in it. Charlie Shin, who was involved in MK Ultra since quite early stages, was one of the prospects that visited Poland. He did. In early stages, he did. He was a. Uh, he did whatever he did. Test subject, whatever. He wanted to test himself, give himself. Became disposable for people that decide about business, and that's how he landed his really well as he claimed I'm gonna help you out man I'm gonna help you out this always was always was he put a lot of uh, confidence in me how is gonna help me out how is gonna help me out man this uh, help me out stuff sometimes in like 2001 once he landed his stuff he would come back every year and he would report that he's doing like really well really well now it's picking up now it's making really good money making really good money and then one time Charlie I don't know um, became not satisfied with with me with this help me out since I was looking for I should say help you out was more and more I should say less and less accessible no. um, even started the gesture that he got in trouble because of me I don't know what then the story with the cocaine developed story with the cocaine developed gradually systematically sometimes it started to develop like sometimes in a Charlie's case he always had this thing for cocaine, I understand, but he became really funny sometimes around 2003. Around 2003, this guy was losing more and more control over himself. And then you already know how it goes. I became more and more guilty for whatever. Uh, whatever he would come and stress and uh, the dot the dot the dot the dot the dot the dot uh, once I started to write after like 2010 I started to get political and stuff like that because I had the whole thing really enough 
um, that's when probably I became like completely, completely, completely inconvenient. But you know, the difference between less and more convenient when it's a matter of life and death, there is none, Brother Charlie. No, I don't know what to tell you. You're a weak brother. I was, to summarize the whole thing, I was a gift. I was a gift the biggest gift possible for the schizophrenics. I'm not a schizophrenic, but I was a gift for the people who like to see that doesn't fucking exist in certain part of the world that just couldn't afford itself to see it differently than that, that just could not go about the same way like the rest of the world. And that's why I'm not going to forget this stuff. This is why. This is, this is why. It's not about Alexander Vucic. It's not about Vladimir Putin alone. It's about the politicians that should be different, that should see it different. But they have chosen not to. They have chosen not to for whatever reason. And that's not even my reason why. That's basically what separates normal from abnormal um, even state-wise. Even state even state-wise, not only as an individual, but as a country, as a state. Thanks for watching this video. Today is February the 26th again, 2021. It's about basically people, nation basically, that uh, claims to be related to us, about the nation that basically cannot accomplish things the normal way because they cannot get results. Even if they wish, there would be people so evil, like they portrayed me under MK Ultra, that they exist, but they don't fucking exist. So they need to drug up and fucking lie and all that other great stuff.